Hey everyone, it's Stephanie from Scrap and Create, and we're working on page six. Oh, I forgot to move my keypad. Page six of You and Me. Let's see. So I've, I'm doing a couple of uh, weird things here. <laughs> One of them is this was from the 12 by 12 uh, scrapbook pad, and I cut out the center, which is going to be the cover of the book, um, but I saved the paper. So this paper is going to go into the album like so, and then I'm going to re uh, lay this in on top because I thought that was too plain. And then inside this is um, an insert. So this is one of the cut-aparts. And the large framed cut-aparts, let's see if I've got one handy, I don't think I do, um, are all inside of a frame. So I cut out the inside, backed it with cardstock, glued three of the four sides so it's a little pocket. This is a piece of the chipboard. I made this a little bit taller than it was wide so that I could glue the bow to something, but then left the ribbons um, free so that when you put it in the insert, the ribbons go on top. Like so. And of course that'll go in and out a little easier when this is actually stuck to something and not just held in my hand. So this is a piece of the chipboard. This piece right here is four and three quarters, four and three quarters by five and a half. And then you're gonna hand cut around your bow. Um, and this is actually gonna be covered so you don't have to worry about getting a perfect um, mat here. It's gonna be pretty much behind the frame. So choose one of the frames. This is the one I chose and then cut out a four and three quarter by five and a half. Add your mat to the bottom and then um, add your bow to the top and then cut around it. So what I did was I put my, my mat in, I laid my bow where I wanted it, held it in place, drew around it and then cut away the excess. Okay, now this is just going to be a frame that I lay in just like this and it's not flat because remember we put pretty flowers on the other side. So this is going to be a very nice and simple page, but a lot of drama, even though there's not a lot of uh, interactive elements. I think it's very dramatic because of the frame. Well, the other thing you could do is glue three of the four sides down here and just make um, make this a big pocket that you put a circular, or that you put a photo in. And I'll, I'll, there's two reasons why I didn't do that. One, I think it looks pretty plain. But the other reason was when I cut out the center, the dress actually extends beyond um, the circle that I cut out. So I think it looks a little funny. If you're gonna use this just as a frame and only glue these three sides, then I would recommend putting like a little floral cluster or something down here to cover up the edge of the dress. Um, so that that's kind of how I decided to work with uh, this remaining piece of paper. Now this fits right on top and I just think it looks really pretty. That looks so I don't know, just kind of bland. So it would really be about the photo that you put in here. And as you all know, oftentimes, wedding photos don't have a lot of color in them. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue it down on this. It, it's not gonna have an opening in the back, so. Unless, of course, she has a beautiful colored bouquet. This is gonna be a little awkward because it's not flat, so. Forgive me if I'm coming in and out of frame while I try to get this straightened out. It's kind of hard to nudge it when you're not on a flat surface. It doesn't look square. It's not, it needs to move over. Let me get my Tim Holtz out, see how we're doing actually. Oh my gosh, we're right on, I'm shocked. It didn't look square, but part of that's because it's not flat. Okay, I wanna make sure I've got good adhesion all the way around. That looks good. Now this is gonna go in the pocket here. Like 
like so. And then I'm gonna add a little bit more bling. I'm gonna add this. I was thinking about adding a flower. Oh, and I really liked this, just married. I think that's too much. Kinda like it right there, a little bit high. So I'm gonna have it come into the frame just ever so slightly. Having, knowing what I know now, I would have waited to put my flowers on, which is a, a lot of times why I don't do my embellishments until the book is finished and the pages are in, because I'm just smushing them <laughs> while I'm turning things over. I'm gonna add a little glue right there. And just hold it all in place for a minute. And that's pretty much it for page six. So it's a very simple page. Page seven is simple too. We're gonna add uh, some interest on page seven through some of the inserts that we're gonna design. I didn't realize it at the time, but my, my bow is off center. Okay, so that's page six. Back soon with page seven.